everybody, it's Ian here from What The Brick TV, and today we're going to be talking about a set that I think is more technologically advanced than the Lamborghini Sion and more enjoyable than the Land Rover Defender. Which set is that? Stay tuned to find out. So today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO Technics set number 42128, Heavy Duty Tow Truck. It comes with 2,017 pieces and retails for $159. This set uh, came out a few, well, a couple of years ago. It's been on the market. It's actually due to retire at the end of 2023. So if this is a set that you want to add to your collection, I think now is the time to do it. I'm really excited about this set because its predecessor that came out, this set right here, I actually missed out on when it was originally on the market because I wasn't buying Lego back then. Having Lego as a hobby simply just was not an option. And I missed out on that set. And I always said I wanted to get that one someday as a retired set, but it is now crazy expensive. However, now that we have this one on the market, I think this is the better of the two tow trucks. So let's go ahead and take a look at this set a little bit more in depth. So this set is a big, big boy. Measures about 22 inches long. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start right here at the front. Look at that. We've got a nice looking front end here. I like the choice of the rounded headlights. It's very similar to what you would see on maybe a Peterbilt truck. Now this tow truck is designed to carry larger vehicles like itself. This is a heavy duty commercial tow truck. It's not modeled after anything specifically, but this is something that you would see on the highway that would maybe be pulling along a tractor trailer, uh, maybe a large bus or a, uh, a panel van or a step van. This is a heavy duty commercial truck that is used to tow other heavy duty commercial vehicles. You wouldn't see this necessarily towing a small family car, although I'm sure it probably could in real life. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the first feature of this truck and we have a opening hood, flips forward just like so, and we can see we have the working V6 engine, which a vehicle this large would definitely have a much bigger engine, probably a V10 or a V12 at least. But you can see it's set up with some very easy, um, very simple Technic structure there where you have a camshaft um, that pushes the pistons up and down as the truck moves along to create some simulated engine movement. We have two very large air filters on each side of the engine, which is something that you would see on a bit of an older style truck, but I think looks very great in this example. Moving down to the bottom, we have two, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side, very large fuel tanks with some built-in steps. And those are going to take you right up to the front of the truck, right up to the cab. We've got some very nice graphic detailing here. Uh, these are stickers, they're not prints unfortunately, and there's been a lot of controversy around this set regarding the uh, types of decals. Well, I should say that the style of art that's used on this on this vehicle. And I don't think it's controversial. I actually think that it was a great choice because at least in the area that I live, uh, we have a lot of these heavy duty style tow trucks and they are decked out with graphics very similar to this. There's actually a, a towing company that has a whole theme of trucks. They have a SpongeBob, they have a Marvel, um, they have a, a Minions truck. Basically every truck in this in this local company's fleet, where I'm from, uh, every truck is a different different um, different theme, I guess, and it's decked out very much like this with tons of crazy looking colorful graphics. We're gonna squeak the tires a little bit as we slide it over. I don't have a turntable, folks, for my reviews here. We're gonna go ahead and open the door. We have another sticker here that is showing some mirror detailing. I wish that this was a little bit shinier like some of the other stickers LEGO has used for mirrors in the past, but I think for this application it's okay. We don't have anything that's going to stop the doors from opening all the way, and on a realistic vehicle like this they wouldn't swing all the way wide open like that, but in this case I think it's perfectly okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the interior here. We have a driver's seat and we have a passenger seat. 
It's a little bit tricky to show here because you're not able to remove the roof, but we do have a decal there that is showcasing some speedometer activity and other gauges that are needed to drive this tow truck. Uh, this vehicle does feature hand of God steering, but unfortunately the steering is not connected to the steering wheel, but it does for the size of it have a very large steering radius, which I think is very nice. There's also a shifter that you can't see on this side. We'll take a look at it on the other side in a moment. But that would help simulate some of the shifting of the gears. So moving along here, we're going to start to get into some of the technical functions of this vehicle, and there are quite a few. As you can see, what this is here on the side, if you're not familiar, and this was actually the first set that I've built that featured this type of technology, this is a pneumatic pump. That's why we have all of these gray and black air lines that are running along the tow structure of the back of the vehicle. And that is because this air pump is basically servicing a number of different functions that are happening on each side of the truck. There are several different controls that allow you to operate the boom of the truck as well as the tow hook and several other things. So we're going to go ahead and honestly I'm not too familiar already with some of these functions. But let's go ahead and we can look at this one here and it says that if you turn this knob right here it's actually going to raise and lower the uh, third axle of the truck and this would be used in a real life application. Uh, you're going to want to drop the third axle if you're carrying a very heavy load. It's going to add a lot, lot more stability to the vehicle. Moving on here we have uh, another operation that's being done with this knob here and when we turn that knob if I can get my directions right here this is going to start and it does take a little bit of time to get it going because there's a lot of gears inside of here but you can see as we turn this knob we're starting to lower the first part of the tow tow assembly here I might have to fast forward through some of this Oh, we're getting down to the end here, perfect. So then what you would do is after you've lowered that, is you would go ahead and you're going to want to lower this part here that hooks on to the front or the back of a vehicle. And the way that that's done is we have a switch right here. And this switch is one of several that's connected to this pneumatic pump. So what we're going to do is we want to lower that tow boom. So we're just going to go ahead and flip this switch down and then we're going to need to give that little pneumatic pump just a little tap or two and there we go. It drops right down. One of the, uh, oh if you want to raise it back up again you're just going to switch it from down, put it into neutral and we're going to push it up because we want to go in the up position and then we're just going to give that pneumatic pump a little tap or two. I like to just do it once and watch it go up slow. There we go. Very nice. And we'll put that switch back into the neutral position. Uh, some of our other, the other controls are going to be on the other side of the truck, but let's just take a look at the back real quick before we go over there. We have some nice detailing here of our tail lights. We have some additional stabilizers here, which I'll show you the side ones in just a moment. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna swing this big boy around. Woo, this is a big model. I need to get a turntable for some of these reviews. All right, and we'll take a look at the other side here. Same graphics on the passenger side as are on the driver's side. We'll open this door and we'll take a peek if we can into the interior. And if we can get our camera to focus, beautiful. Um, that's the passenger side of the interior. And we do have a little Technic axle that sticks up from the bottom there. Doesn't do anything technical, but just gives you a simulation of being able to shift your gears up and down. So on this side of the truck, we have the pneumatic function, um, or we have the pneumatic function for uh, raising, lowering, and extending the boom, 
We also have the gear function of raising and lowering the landing gear, which you're going to need for stability. And we have the uh, gear function of rotating the crane. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this landing gear function here. This is the first thing we should be doing if we're going to be picking up vehicles. We're just going to go ahead and give this gear a little bit of a turn. And what's happening here is this is connected to a series of gears. There's one on this side, passenger side. There's another on the driver's side as well. And then there's also a set of landing gear in the back. So what's happening when I turn this knob is there's a series of gears and axles and drive shafts that are, that are pushing these landing gear down and helping to stabilize the truck here so we can do our, our pickups and drop-offs much safer. Go ahead and finish. Whoop, I'm twisting the wrong gear here. I still <laughs> got to get used to all these knobs here. Like I said, folks, this is a very technical set. So there we go. We've dropped our landing gear. It's down on both sides. We have stability. It's down here in the rear as well. So now we're able to, so what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to raise this boom up from its neutral position. So we're gonna take this pneumatic switch that we have here, and we're gonna to wanna to switch it from neutral to the up position. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start pressing our uh, pneumatic pump button. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna start forcing air into that pneumatic shaft and as we push it, it's going to raise it up nice and tall. Isn't that beautiful? So then what we would do, zoom out a little bit here, is we're going to want to put some slack on these tow hook lines. And the way we do that is we just go over here and we have this gearing mechanism, but it has a stopper on it, so we're going to have to move that forward. And we're going to go ahead and put some slack in our lines, lower those down a little bit. And we'll do the same for the other side. I just love this set so much. There's so much technical detailing that's happening here. So what we want to do is we want to push this boom out because it goes in the upward direction. So we're going to come back down here to our control panel and we see right here that this pneumatic switch, which is in neutral and is now in the up position, is going to extend our boom outward. So let's go ahead and give it a couple of pumps. We've got pump, pump, pump it up. Oh, I think we're going high. What are we trying to do here? Oh, see, you gotta be really careful. Pay attention to your pneumatics. We're in the up position here on height. We need to be in the neutral position. And then we're up here on extension. So let's go ahead and extend it out. Oh, hi Sadie. I think the cat wants to help a little bit. There we go. All right, so now that we're in the up position, we can actually go ahead and we can change the angle of the boom itself and we can rotate it around here clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever position you want to put this boom into to pick up a heavy load, like maybe a kitty cat. So my final thoughts on this particular model that we have here, 42128 heavy duty tow truck, I absolutely love this set. This took me just about eight hours to build because like I said, I think it's more technologically advanced, more technical than the Lamborghini Sian. The Sian had a very big gearbox and while this one doesn't have a gearbox necessarily, it does have things like differentials and there's multiple gearing mechanisms that are happening at the same time and of course has pneumatic functions. Set retails for uh, 159, 160, 200 or 2017 pieces. Uh, it is retiring at the end of 2023. So if you wanted to add this tow truck to your collection, now is the time to buy it. Now is the year to get that done. As far as playability goes, uh, I think it was a very enjoyable set to go to, to put to put together. I can't really speak too much in terms of playability because I don't really play with my Lego models. I build and display them, but the box does tell us one thing that I'm a little concerned about, and it's that it's intended for 11 plus years of age. Now, I think it's possible that there's, a, there's plenty of 11 year olds out there that could put that set together and not have any issues whatsoever. I didn't have any issues putting it together, and I put together several 
large Technic sets. Um, this is not a set I would recommend to somebody who is brand new to Technic. If you haven't built something even as small as this McLaren Senna GTR, you're not going to really have a great understanding of how the Technic format works. I mean, I've built a lot of Technic cars. I've got uh, my Land Rover over there, my Ford Raptor, Dom's Charger. Uh, right in front of me here, I got my, my Porsche 911 RSR. So I've built a lot of Technic models, and I have a pretty good understanding of how the system works in and of itself. Um, if you're new to Technic, this could be an extreme challenge for you to complete. Uh, it was smooth sailing for the most part for me um, during the building process. I did get to around step 280, I think it was. I'll show the instructions right here. And I was having a little bit of difficulty um, trying to figure out exactly how to place that one sub-assembly. And it turns out um, you actually are going to connect your airlines and then you're just going to flip it up vertically into, a, into an upright position. Overall, I'm going to give this set a solid uh, 8 out of 10. I can't find anything too wrong with it. I think it's absolutely perfect. It was enjoyable to build. I think it's priced right. Uh, you might be able to find it on sale before it leaves the store shelves forever. And the best part of all is if you're like me and you missed out on the original iteration of the heavy duty tow truck, then you don't have to spend a fortune to pick one up retired. You can get this one brand new and actually this one is probably the better of the two models. That's all I got for you today, folks. So thank you for joining me. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and comment.